Ever wondered how the MD-11 went from a DC-10 successor to an aviation icon? Let's take a quick journey back. After years of DC-10 development, McDonnell Douglas decided to push boundaries. On December 30, 1986, the MD-11 program launched, aiming for the skies with big ambitions. Just over a year later, March 9, 1988, the first prototype started coming together. Fast forward to January 10, 1990, and the MD-11 took to the air on her maiden flight. Certification from the FAA came in November, and by December, Finnair proudly welcomed the world's first MD-11 into their fleet. That's some rapid progress. But what makes the MD-11 truly special? It keeps the iconic Trigid design of the DC-10 but brings a whole new level of innovation. The MD-11 sports powerful new engines, choose from the General Electric CF680C2 or the Pratt & Whitney PW4000. It's got a slightly bigger wingspan, winglets for more efficiency, and a maximum takeoff weight that's bumped up by 14%. The fuselage? It's stretched out by 11%. Imagine packing 298 passengers in three classy cabins, traveling up to 7,130 nautical miles. That's a serious long-haul machine. And inside, it's all about tech. With a glass cockpit, pilots could finally say goodbye to the flight engineer. The MD-11 didn't just build on the DC-10, it redefined what a Trije could do. From its ambitious beginnings to its legacy as a global workhorse, the MD-11 truly earned its place in aviation history. Thanks for joining me on this quick flight through time.